Good morning, everyone. Um, it's April 12th, 2010. Uh, it's Monday morning. Um, I decided to do a quick video this morning. Um, I think for one reason, because the morning seems to be the best for me, uh, where I feel I have a little bit more strength. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a shirt today, and I started getting dressed on Saturday morning, and there was a huge lift um, to be able to do that, as opposed to be in the the gown, etc. Um, still, unfortunately, fluid is playing a huge issue in the initial recovery. Um, about 40 or 50 pounds still of fluid, still trying to get rid of me, um, to the extent that it's virtually all gone from my hands, etc., and that I have to keep them moisturized because they're becoming very rough, uh, whereas unfortunately legs, etc., and belly are still very much inflated. Um, I got the result of the test that I was waiting for, and um, in that I received a one or. Uh, if you remember from the previous one, it was a zero or, so there was a slight reduc rejection, but nothing to be really concerned about because it's contradicted by adding another medication, basically. Um, my weekend in general was productive. Um, I got the opportunity to do some walking. Um, there isn't much physiotherapy or occup occupational therapy around at weekends, so it's you basically have to push yourself to do these things. So I set my targets on, on my board, and um, I have a uh, an incentive spermometer, which is called this machine right here, and that's to help in my breathing. And as you can see, it's gone up right from 500 up to just over 2,000, um, which is great because it helps me to be able to speak better and have more power in my lungs. Um, this weekend was, as I said, a very quiet weekend really for doctors. Um, I had a psych visit on Friday and they were very very happy with my progress um, they said I was asking very much the right questions and just so you know some of the questions that arise as a result of this type of operation is number one there's a remorse for the death of your own heart um, I don't know whether you blame yourself for it or whatever, but it's just a remorse. And the second is an acceptance of a heart from somebody else. When do you realize that it is your heart that you have? It's not anybody else's anymore. I'm not at that stage yet, but I'm asking the questions and I'm trying to come to the right answers. Um, also, uh, this weekend, I did a lot of... Um, uh, it's special uh, boots that go on your legs which help flow um, the fluid basically up and trying to get out of you. Out of you. Um, I started a new anti-anxiety medication called Kalanapan, uh, which is a long-lasting um, medication throughout the day which helps keep me calm. Um, that's another unfortunate side effect of another medication. So one of the, the things I'm really learning is you see that there's one medication that does so much good for you in so many different ways, but it has so many other side effects that you need so many other medications to contradict that. Um, I was uh, delighted uh, to hear about uh, yesterday's service and the success of the Addictions Ministry and congratulate uh, all involved. I'm very, very proud. Um, also, I'm very happy with Phil Mickelson uh, winning the golf yesterday. Um, I thought it was great for him and particularly for his family at this time. Um, I hope now this whole Tiger Woods circus is over with and people can get back and concentrate on golf again. Um, other than that, uh, this week is going to be holding more tests throughout the day, etc. 
I'll be doing some occupational therapy and physiotherapy. I'll have a biopsy again this week, uh, which will be for the next 10 weeks, which is really important. Um, the, there is a possibility that I could be out before the weekend if they can get enough fluids off in time. So keep your fingers crossed on that one. I'll keep you up to date. Um, I wish you all a very, very happy week. And I hope the next time I'm talking to you, I'll be even in stronger or, or better form. Um, so, again, thanks for your support, your concern, your prayers, and your love. And I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you. Goodbye.